Hi, my name is Andy Park. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll share seven quick tips to help you edit faster in Microsoft Word and in Outlook. Tip number one is to use style to structure your documents. If you're working on a log document, creating an outline or sections will help you organize your information and make it a breeze to reorganize when you need to. In applying styles like heading, title, and subtitle, we're essentially defining a hierarchy. So for example, if we apply style header to define each section, we can open the navigation pane to see the document outline and easily move sections around simply by dragging the section headers. And if you don't like the default formatting of the section headers, we can right click on the style to modify, then make changes. This change will cascade to all text with this style applied. In contrast, if you have a document like this with simple formatting applied, while it looks organized, there is no hierarchy defined. If you want to move sections around, it becomes quite manual and we'd have to cut and paste to different sections. And in terms of changing the format of different elements in this case, we'd have to do it manually as well. However, there is a neat workaround. Rather than going section by section to make the change, we can simply go to Home, Select, and choose Select Text with Similar Formatting. Then we can make changes to the formatting in one shot. Tip number two, move text or sections. Let's say we want to move a specific text or an entire section to a different part of the document. We can of course use Ctrl X to cut and Ctrl V to paste, but easier way might be to select the text and hit F2, then hit enter in the place you want to move the selection to. Alternatively, if you want to move an entire section up or down, we can use Ctrl Alt Arrow. This works well in a table and lists as well. Tip number three, select text vertically. When we have text in a table structure, we can easily select a column, but outside of a table structure, we can only make selections left to right. Here we have what looks like a table, but it's actually tap delimited text. If we try to drag our mouse cursor, it goes from left to right. However, if we hold on to the Alt key, it lets us make selections vertically. Tip number four, remove formatting. Often when we paste content copied over from an outside source, the formatting can look wonky. After we paste the content, we can hit the control key to bring up the paste options. Here we can choose to keep the source formatting, merge the formatting with our current document, or simply strip the formatting altogether and paste the text only. I personally almost always choose the last option. So to do this quickly, I use these shortcuts in rapid succession, Control V, Control, then T for text only. If you wanna make this the default option, head over to File, Options, Advanced, and make the changes here. If you want to strip existing format from a section of a document altogether, select the selection and hit Control Space. That'll remove the formatting. Tip number five, convert text case. If you want to toggle between all caps versus lowercase, select the text and hit Control Shift A. If you want to cycle between all caps, lowercase, and sentence case, then use Shift F3 instead. Tip number six, paragraph spacing. If you want to change the line spacing in a paragraph, select it and hit Control 1 for single, Control 2 for double, and Control 5 for one and a half spacing. Tip number seven, quickly increase or decrease the font size. We can use control left or right brackets to decrease or increase the font size by single point increments. We can also use control shift left or right angle brackets to decrease or increase the font size by one point, but for font sizes that are 12 points and larger, the increments will change to two points at a time. 
And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.